Just explain um, what you want to accomplish through this new legislation and, and how it could benefit UAB. Well, I think it benefits the entire system uh, because it gives greater voice uh, and it allows folks that have a stake in the communities to have a voice. We're including the mayors of uh, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and Huntsville, the county manager from Jefferson County, and the president of the county commissions from Tuscaloosa and Madison County. We're, we'll have an alum representative from each alumni board and two members selected at large from within the state. And uh, I believe this uh, gives a greater voice uh, it doesn't shift the balance of power in the board. It gives a voice on the board uh, to folks who have opposing views, and those opposing views haven't always been welcomed or heard from on this board. How long has this been in the making? I know you, you mentioned it's not primarily about football. You know, football is a linchpin issue that's kind of brought everything uh, to be, but how long has this been in the working, and, and how long overdue do you think it's needed? Uh, I think it's long overdue. Uh, uh, one of my colleagues, Representative John Rogers, has worked on uh, – a separate board for UAB. Uh, I, I, I'm not certain that we've got the ability to do that. Uh, he's talked about equal representation on the board, five from each school. You, uh, and, and folks fight for their positions. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is not give the board reason to oppose us, just add to what they're doing and help them make better decisions. And, uh, and I, think they'll I think the board will welcome this.